just really I'm just worried about the game tonight, truthfully. What did it, what did it mean for you though to see the way that Durant, Kerr, and the team kind of defended you yesterday and even reached out to TNT on your behalf? Um, I'm just real I'm just really excited about the fact that we need to play Brooklyn tonight. So You guys, you guys have a big uh, road trip coming up. When you're when you're on a crazy road swing like that, do you ever find it kind of disorienting? Do you kind of lose track of the days? Is it is it um, hard to keep track of things? It's hard to keep track of my room number, to tell the truth. Because <laughs> I've plenty of times went to the same room the night before, like the city before, and realized that I'm in a whole different floor and a whole different room. So, but it, it does get tiring, you know. Yeah, there, there have been times recently where you check with like the front desk or something about. Yeah, definitely. I've had to like I just took my key and not the little slip that has the number on it. Yeah, I've had to go right downstairs. Like, what's my room number? Like, because it's, it's really heavy. Do you remember a specific city recently where that happened? Or? No, I don't remember what city it is. Steph Curry says that you are the funniest guy in the locker room by sense of humor. Have you been able to keep that up for the last few days? Of course, I'm I'm in great spirits. I always have been. Well, do you think it's, does it kind of bother you? You know, you are this guy that your teammates talk about, and because of the TV thing, a lot of people think of you just as a knucklehead guy. You know? um, I'm kind. just a positive person, and I just exude positivity. Everybody around me is happy when they're around me, so I just love being me. Do you, does there part of you that come up a little bit when, when people get to know you? Even Steve said that you kind of... You know, I, lo I love it. Through. I love it when people meet me, and then they're like... Like, oh, you're actually smart. It's kind of, it's kind of like, it's kind of rude, but I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? Just so I can, every person. So, you you stay positive. What about like your fr your close friends and family? Do they get kind of upset about some of the shots taken at you? Um, yeah, sometimes they do, but they know me, and they know I'm not a, a sensitive person at all. So, you're obviously having a great year. Kind of is it is it a little frustrating that they're still bringing up these highlights from Wizards days when you're having the year you're having and you haven't really had many Shaq moments? Um, you know me, I'm just Mr. Positive, <laughs> smiling my way to the top. That's all. Are you like okay? I better not fall asleep because Draymond might get me. Um, I mean, I gotta watch my back with Draymond every day. <laughs> I gotta like I, when I go to sleep on a plane, I put a cover over my head. I might suffocate because of Draymond. That's, <laughs> that's up. Has he gotten you back? Not that I know of. He might have got, knowing Draymond, he probably did something I don't even realize yet. He probably switched my car out or something. I don't even know. The exact same car, just switched it out or something. Well, you know, you know your, but has it felt good to get the backing you got from, like, I mean, my, team, my teammates are my brothers, and, and Steve Curry is also, it's a great organization, and I appreciate everything that they do for me, and that's why I go out there and work as hard as I can when I'm on the floor, and I know everyone sees that. They see me running up and down the floor, working as hard as I can every day, every day. So I'm just doing my thing, trying to be a positive person and work hard. Have you ever been in a team the vibe was as good, the whole team? Never. What do you chalk that up to? Uh, Leader of the team, Coach Curry, is just such a positive person. And when you when you when you're a positive person, you're a happy, go lucky person, and you're you don't you're not a negative person. It, it trickles down to everybody, and everybody's happy to play for you. He let you be yourself, exactly. And that you're part of the team while being your own individual. Exactly. Self. It's a whole. Our team is a, is a conglomerate of a whole bunch of individuals that come together to make a whole. And I assume he still gets on you guys. It's not like he's too much. Nice <clears throat> but truthfully, when you win, there's nothing to get on somebody about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you're losing, you can get nitpick at anything. You came to practice with your shoes untied. I did. I've been on teams where that's happened. Like, you came to practice, you don't have your jersey on, that's a fine. Like, we, we know our teammates. Like, we know who to pass it to. You know, like, I've been on teams where they've actually said things like that. Like, you're fine because you didn't wear your jersey in practice. So, there's just so much positivity here. And, they don't nitpick at the little things. Would you like to stay here nice long term? Um, I pass this season. Obviously. Yeah. Thanks, guys. How long did it take you to realize what a good situation this was? Like the first day? Uh, like the first 13 minutes. <laughs> <laughs>